Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise. Megatron. This is a figure that I swore I was not going to get. I have four versions of Siege Megatron. I've got the regular retail, the Netflix version, the 35th anniversary version, and the Generation 2 Combat Hero version. I did not need another version of Siege Megatron, which is what this guy pretty much is. It is a remold of Siege Megatron. So, like I said, I wasn't going to pick him up, but you know how it is. You haven't bought a bot for a while, and you're like getting that itch, and that itch has to be scratched, and therefore Siege Megatron, or excuse me, Earthrise Megatron, is now in my possession. So, what the hell? I'm a Megatron fan. He's a Megatron, and here he is. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got Megatron here in robot mode. It's funny, he's packaged looking up. It's like he's stargazing or something. Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise. On the side, you got some fantastic artwork of Megatron. And I think he's in the Nemesis because you can see the arc right there on a hologram. He's like slamming his fist on the table. Catch them! Get them! Whatever. I think that's really cool. Back of the package, you've got Megatron in robot mode and tank mode. Side of the box is that Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this Megatron opened and add him to my shelf of Siege Megatrons. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Megatron all open and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with this cannon sword spear thing. So he's got that. And he also has this blast shield. And you can attach the blast shield to the cannon sword spear thing via this peg right here that will attach in that hole. Just have to make sure that the curved area of the shield goes around the cannon. So now we have a cannon sword spear shield thing. So yes, we've got this, which we'll go over more later. Now for this video, I decided to make this more of a comparison instead of an actual review, because as I said, we've seen this mold before. Four different times, actually. We've had it with the original Siege Megatron, the Generation Selects Combat Hero Megatron. Now, this Megatron has the exact same mold, it's just a different head sculpt. Then we had the 35th Anniversary Megatron done in animated collars, and then the Netflix Megatron. All of these Megatrons have the exact same mold, like I said, except for the G2 Megatron, he has a different head sculpt. So what I was originally concerned with, with the Earthrise Megatron, am I just getting another version of the Siege Megatron? Well, let's find out. 
Now, when I first took Earthrise Megatron out of the packaging, the figure really surprised me. Yes, he may share the same skeletal structure, if you will, of the Siege Megatrons, but he has been totally remolded. There are a few pieces and parts that are exact duplicates of the Siege figure, but mostly, he's a new mold. Now, please keep in mind before I start going over the comparisons that my Siege Megatrons have been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. Now, let's bring these guys in for a closer look. Now, the first thing you're probably noticing is the brand new head sculpt. Earthrise Megatron looks more like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart, where Siege Megatron more or less has a realistic or comic book appearance. The chest is also a lot wider, or excuse me, a lot longer on Earthrise Megatron than Siege. And also the torso is completely different, looking a lot more cartoon accurate. The arms are exactly the same on both figures, except Earthrise Megatron has these pylons right here, where Siege Megatron has the pylons that can be covered. Now that is for tank mode, but Earthrise Megatron does not need those due to the sword shield thing that we'll go over after a while. Also, if you look down here on the waist, the crotch piece is entirely different. The legs, the upper legs are the same, and the lower legs are completely different. <clears throat> Excuse me. The feet are also exactly the same. Now, one thing with the feet is the Earthrise Megatron, or excuse me, the Siege Megatron, his feet can actually lock in place. Earthrise Megatron does not. There is no locking mechanism. Another nice feature of locking is Siege Megatron had this issue with the head flap. The head would go up and down way too easy. Earthrise Megatron has fixed that. That takes some force to push down, and there's added tabs up here at the top that Siege did not have that prevents the neck plate from moving up. So that is really, really cool. Now on the back of the figure, he's got brand new tread. So there's a lot more tread on the back of Earthrise Megatron than Siege Megatron. I do wish Earthrise Megatron had the ports moved down a little lower. Earthrise has these ports up higher than the Siege version, and that proves to be a problem if you want to use the sword shield thing and attach to his back. It just sets up way too high, where with Earthrise, it goes down a little lower. I have this as uh, Soundwave's little extra gun. So I can make Earthrise, or excuse me, I get these two confused. Siege Megatron look like he has the cannon over his shoulder, or the gun barrel, just like the cartoon, where Earthrise, it sits up way too high. If that shield, or excuse me, that port was a little lower, that could come down. I think that would look a lot better. So, and also, yes, Earthrise Megatron is very, very top heavy. I kind of have to angle the legs kind of funky to get him to stand up straight without falling over. So here are the two figures back to back. And once again, by the front. And there goes Siege Megatron's head again. Another thing I want to point out is the difference in the fusion cannons. Earthrise Megatron's fusion cannon is a little bit longer than the Siege version. Also, another completely new mold. The Earthrise fusion cannon looks a lot like the Generation 1 Fusion Cannon. Look at the details there in the center and up on the end. I love that. That is a great Generation 1 throwback. Now, the accessory I really hate with Siege Megatron is this sword, shield, spear thing. This is a terrible accessory. It works for what it needs to in tank mode, but as far as a robot weapon, this, this is pathetic. You've got the siege weapon, now which is also the barrel of the tank, and I love how this worked. You flip this around. So you have the barrel of the tank that slid in, but in robot mode, you just transform this like so, and you got this awesome looking sword. There's no transformation for this thing. This is just one big bulky piece 
that really doesn't look that good in robot mode. It can only attach via the port on his forearm. So you can hold it like so for a blade. You can rotate it around to give him another cannon. But I, I do not like this. There's no way, and that blast shield keeps falling off, but there's no way he can really hold it in his hand, you know, to make it look like a spear. He kind of has a odd angle there because the peg is on a hinge, but it just, it doesn't work for me. I think the sword that Siege Megatron is much better. I love how that looks. Not a fan of the sword, shield, spear, cannon thing. But another difference in the Earthrise figure that I did discover and I like that I can utilize a piece I got earlier this month, the hands are sculpted different. If you look at Siege Megatron's hands, he's got this little bulky panel right there on top of the fist where Earthrise Megatron, it's flat. And that's so you can utilize the flail that came with the Centurion drone kit and slide that onto his hand. If you saw my review of this set earlier, I didn't have Earthrise Megatron at the time. I had Siege, and this would not fit in Siege Megatron's hand. And the reason was that panel on the fist. Now, I still had to sand the handle down in order to get it to fit right. But now it slides in there nice and smooth and actually looks really cool on Siege Megatron. So I'll give him the flail and probably put this thing off to the side, which goes into the play earlier that I really wish it could attach to his back a lot better. So you got the flail, you got the cannon here, the fusion cannon. So I think Earthrise Megatron, that's a pretty decent look for a G1 Megatron. Now let's take a look at him in tank mode. Now, transformation into tank mode is exactly the same as the Siege version with just a few minor differences. Now, the big difference is how you attach the turret or the barrel to the tank. With Siege Megatron, you slide the blade of the sword through that gap and attach the barrel with that peg right there in the Megatron's fusion cannon. And there you go. There is the Siege tank. For Earthrise, you take the sword shield turret thing make sure this little section here is folded up and then the same thing you're going to slide the blade in with this gap and make sure the peg goes into the barrel of the fusion cannon and there you go so there is megatron in tank mode or earthrise megatron in tank mode now you're going to take the blast shield and the blast shield goes here on the back of the figure make sure the circle area goes in first and there's a little slots right here that you just kind of slide this into place make sure that stays so it's kind of a gap filler to make it look more like a earth style tank instead of this futuristic looking h tank that siege megatron is now big difference as you can see is the tank treads where siege megatron kind of had this futuristic looking tank tread with a separation right here Earthrise Megatron, the tank treads actually connect together. There's a tab, so they snap together, so they look like one long cohesive piece, and it actually looks really good. We've got a lot of paint chipping there on the sides, which I would expect with a tank, and on the bottom of the treads, it looks like mud, so that, that's pretty cool. I love the details. Lots of great molded details on the tank. Of course, it's got the damn feet that hang off the back that I hate. I wish they could have came up with some way to fold those feet in. I've got this one here is a very loose heel, just constantly falling off. Another difference is the front of the tank and how this transforms. You have Earthrise Megatron here, great looking front, and it just tabs right here to the ends of the treads. You can see Megatron's head peekabooing out there, where Earthrise... There is an extra hinge, so it tabbed in and then looped under, like so. So you've got that going on right there. Both tanks do roll, and the turrets do rotate. Now you'll see that Earthrise Megatron's fusion cannon sticks out a little bit farther than Siege, which kind of looks weird. 
And here on the side, another mold difference is Earthrise Megatron has the grenade launchers there on the side where Earthrise had nothing. So a not a bad looking tank. I mean, I dig it. I think this looks really, really cool. I wish they could have done something with the feet. I wish this section would slide in just a little bit more, but I, I kind of see what they were going for. Maybe you didn't have that gap right there in the middle. But still, it looks really, really good. Got the D-16, which is a reference to his Japanese release. Nice big purple Decepticon logo right there. Not a bad looking tank. Like I said, I am not disappointed in this figure at all. I was really quite impressed with him. So there you go. There is Earthrise Megatron in tank mode. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Megatron really surprised me. As I said, I was originally going to skip out on this figure because I figured he was just another Siege Megatron. I was pleasantly proven wrong. I love how Hasbro took the time to actually remold a lot of this figure to give him more of a Generation 1 cartoon look. That being said, I wish there was more added to him so he wasn't so much like Siege in his look and transformation, if that makes sense, because from a distance, this guy looks like Siege Megatron. But all in all, I'm happy to have him in my collection, and he's really going to look good on my Megatron shelf. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Megatron. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Megatron belong in your collection? I'm tore on this one. I am a huge Megatron fan, and even though I appreciate all the remolds on this existing Siege figure, I really feel that they could have done something else with a new Megatron. We've seen the tank. We've seen this look. Though I really appreciate all the Generation 1 throwbacks, I would just really love to see a new take on Megatron. So that being said, good figure, but I'd wait to get this guy on clearance. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!